Hey everybody, this is NCSO7 here doing another Insight Opinions episode. I know, and I, and I honestly was not expecting to do this video. I, I was kind of going to plan on doing the next video sometime next week, which, by the way, there will be one for next week, but I want to do this now because I really want to talk about this while it's still relevant because I've, I've got some opinions I'd like to share, so... You guys probably remember that Nintendo a few days ago revealed that they are going to be doing like the Super Mario 3D All-Stars, which is going to be like a collection of like uh, Super Mario 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy. Um, pretty much what's been rumored the whole year, pretty much. Um, and that's really great, but I have seen so many people who are just so cynical for just I don't know reasons, and I've got like four reasons that I want to go through. So, and this is probably one of the most common things I've seen, are people complaining about the price. Um, the game is $60, and to be fair, these games are old. And to be honest, I do personally even believe that $60 is my, a lot. I do think that $40 would be a lot better of an idea, since these are three games that are kind of old. But here's the thing. Nintendo has been doing this for a long time. Nintendo has been doing the whole $60 price tag on like re-releases and just like stuff like that for like f multiple years. People complain about when Tropical Freeze was released for like 60 bucks on the Switch when it was originally released for like 50 on the Wii U. Um, similar thing with like uh, Pikmin 3 where that kind of, where Pikmin 3 Deluxe and that got removed. <clears throat> and the same kind of thing happened with like the Link's Awakening remake where it was basically a $60 price tag for like a remake of a grid by grid Game Boy game. So Nintendo is not shy to the idea of putting their game like any of their games at full price and they've been doing this for quite a while honestly and people still act like they're like it's the most ridiculous thing ever and to be fair it kind of is but the thing is I, I don't really know what you're expecting like what would you honestly expect do you honestly expect nintendo to put this at like 60 dollars they would have put if they were really super mario galaxy alone on the eShop, it probably would have been 60 dollars so that's that's that like i don't know what you're expecting also, and this is kind of something that I'm pretty sure um, a lot of people don't understand. You don't have to buy this game. You are not legally forced to buy this game. You do not have to buy this game in order to keep your house or anything like that. This is just a fun little thing that Nintendo is doing for Mario's 35th anniversary. Like, do, like you do not have to buy it. And like, and like, and, and kind of just going into a little bit of a bit of a side tangent, just real quickly. Yes, you have to pay sixty dollars for these three games, and like, and th and that's actually kind of goes into the whole side tangent of a lot of people com doing these comparisons. I've seen this a lot on Twitter, and I've actually seen most of the stuff on Twitter. So, but I do want to bring this up. Some people are basically comparing the price of like. Like, kind of like how, like, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is, like, the remix in, like, of, like, the first three Crash games. And how that's, like, cheaper than the three, like, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, where it's, like, $60 and the games aren't really remade and all that stuff. And it's, like, the difference here is that, like, no offense to Crash Bandicoot, like, those games are fun. But the thing with Mario is that it's a lot more recognizable and it's also... A collection that contains some of the most revolutionary games of all time so yeah and I'll kind of get into this like I let near the end of the video but like the fact that they're doing this is really good and I honestly don't feel like it price should be worth anything since I mean these games are revolutionary as all hell well at least 64 and galaxy sunshine's kind of on the mm, side but Really great 3D Mario games. I honestly don't know what to expect, like, what you were expecting regarding the price. Like, if you don't want the game, then don't buy it. But some people are thinking they have to get it because of the fact that the game is limited in availability. It is going to be available on, until March 31st of 2021. Then they are not making any more physical versions of the game. And they're also removing it digitally. 
Now, I do gotta be honest, I gotta be honest, it is kind of baffling why they would do this. Because I do feel like it would be a very big missed money opportunity. However, I do, like a lot of people are making this seem a lot worse than it actually is. Because, let's be serious, you can pre-order the game now. And you'll basically have from like, basically five or six months to basically get the game before it's gone for good. Like... You'll have six months to get the game. It's, and it's, it's kind of, I don't know. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, it's kind of like how any game can be limited in terms of its availability. Like, think of like GameCube games. GameCube games, like, like various GameCube games used to be sold for like 40 bucks a pop or something like that. I don't know. I wasn't around. I wasn't, I was very, I was like a baby during the GameCube era, but like, they sold those things for, like, 40 bucks a pop, and then they eventually took them off store shelves, so then they got a lot more limited with how many there actually exist of, like, a specific game. So any game can be limited, and if you want the game, you can pre-order it right now, or you can pick it up before March of 2021. It's not that hard. And it's not even like this is, like, a brand new game or anything like that. It's just the older 3D Mario games. You can play them on older hardware, or you can just emulate the games. Which is, like, that's another thing. Or it's like, that kind of goes back into the whole price thing, where it's like, if you don't want to pay, like, 60 bucks for these games, then don't. Just play them on original hardware, or just emulate them. Don't whine about it, then. Don't whine about the price, then. And don't whine about the limited availability, because any game will be limited. I do find it kind of weird that they would be like, Nintendo would be like that, but the thing is, any game can be limited immediately, and you still have a chance unless you're watching this video after March of 2021, to which case, I am sorry for you. Um, and then I've got like one, like two, kind of two more points, but they're pretty small, is the remake, um, and so many people are kind of, and like this kind of goes back to the whole comparison thing, because people for some reason love to make these weird comparisons like between like like i've seen one of the common ones is like between like crash bandicoot insane trilogy and like them like 3d all-stars and people are like saying how like like the original crash games were updated to be a lot better in insane trilogy and then like with 3d all-stars like they just keep the games the same thing I don't think people understand that these are not remakes or remasters of these games at all. These are simply put the games, the original games being put on the Switch in a collection. That is what they're doing. They're not going to be doing these huge enhancement things to really change it up. They're going to be the way they were on the original hardware. So I don't know where people are like coming from with the whole remake thing. When this is supposed to be a collection of the original three games, I just, I know, I don't understand that. And like they did kind of remaster Galaxy and Sunshine in the sense that like they did have them be like 1080p and like, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know why people are like treating it like this is a remake and that it's not doing anything because it's not supposed to be doing anything. It's a collection. And then just, and then this, and then, and that's really all I wanted to say. So, instead of closing this video out on saying, like, like or subscribe or anything like that to my channel or anything like that, I just want to say, let's try and be more reasonable human beings. Let's try and be a bit more optimistic because being negative all the time is honestly starting to get kind of irritating, to be completely honest. Like, just seeing it on Twitter, like, so, especially on Twitter, has gotten really annoying for me. I've gotten a lot more tired of seeing just stupid people acting, being stupid, or just people being overly cynical for, like, no reason. So, let's try and be more reasonable human beings on here, and let's just appreciate, and why don't we appreciate the good things, like... Forget about the price and all that stuff, but let's just appreciate the fact that Nintendo is going to even be making these collections at all. The fact that they're literally going to put 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy, some of the most revolutionary games ever, on the Switch. And 
yes it is limited and yes the price is kind of high and yes they aren't necessarily big overhaul remasters or remakes but the thing is who honestly cares super mario 64 and galaxy are very special to a lot of people and probably the same thing with sunshine they're very special games they don't need to be remade they're not supposed to be they're supposed to simply put be the original versions of the games so that's it for the video i'm gonna end it here let's just let's all as a part of the community let's try and be a little bit more like reasonable and like it's fine if you don't like agree with like some of the stuff i said like if you don't like the price tag being like 60 dollars, that is completely fine i do understand and like if you don't like the idea of the limited availability that's fine but like Let's try and look on the bright side a little bit more. Let's try and be a little bit more positive than negative all the time. And complain, com, complainers, complaining haters is what I kind of tend to call it. But let's stop complaining and let's just have, let's just be, let's just appreciate the finer things. But anyways, I'm going to end this here. Have a good day and let's, one more time. Let's all do our part. Let's do all do our part and make this community a great, a much better place. Let's try and be a little bit more positive so we can just make the community more positive. But anyways, goodbye.